we're doing today with this moment of silence is happening all over the world. Literally, there are hundreds of demonstrations, maybe even more, um, across this world, and a particularly large one in Japan against nuclear power uh, on this, the fourth anniversary of North Anna. Okay. Least, pardon me, the fourth, an the fourth anniversary of Fukushima. Um, the costs of nuclear power, it's just too risky, and it's too costly. Uh, literally, you know, thousands, tens of thousands of people have been dislocated as a result of the Fukushima accident. Uh, they may never be able to return to their homes. That's an incredible economic disaster, as well as a personal disaster for each of those people. If you look back even further to Chernobyl, you have a situation where, again, literally, people have been displaced and may never go back to their homes, uh, 20 miles or more away from those nuclear power plants. I'd like to mention the fact that all of us are carrying a higher radioactive body burden as a result of those two accidents. Uh, as bad as Chernobyl was, Fukushima was even worse in terms of total releases. So uh, it's really important that we are here today, um, and it's really pleased that we got a lot of publicity today as well, so that we can take that message to people and make sure they don't forget the fact that Fukushima happened just four years ago today. Uh, and then also um, that on that same year in August, there was a, another earthquake here in Virginia that shut down two nuclear reactors that were built close to a fault line, and that Dominion actually lied about the fact that there was a fault line there. They covered it up, they had to pay a fine, and there would have been criminal prosecution had it not been for the fact that the Nuclear Regulatory Commission had conspired with Dominion, and the prosecutors found it was too difficult to prosecute. So we know better now, um, we know a lot better now, we know there is a fault line here, not only that we know it's active because we had an earthquake all these few years ago. And so we're here not only to remember the people from Fukushima who suffered this horrible loss, but to recognize that we want no Fukushimas in Virginia and that we shouldn't be building North Atlantic 3 and we've got to urge them to move away from nuclear power. We shut down North Atlantic 1 and number 2. I might just mention the fact that since that earthquake, uh, Erica is a regular uh, watcher of Dominion's website, uh, an LRC website, and uh, there have been a number of problems with those reactors. There have been leaks, there have been broken fuel rods, uh, and one of the reactors is down now for some strange reasons that they haven't disclosed. We think those maintenance issues are directly related to the fact that uh, that earthquake four years ago actually exceeded the design capacity of those reactors. Um, and while Dominion brags about the fact that they are still operational, uh, I think uh, all of us should have a legitimate concern about the fact that those reactors are um, not as, uh, or, or more risky than, than they were before as a result of that earthquake the made the problems involved. Would anyone else like to share some thoughts? John, why don't you say a few words? Okay. I want to thank everybody for coming out. Can you hear me back there? Okay. I live in Charlottesville, Virginia. I'm John Crookshank. And I've been concerned about uh, North Anna, uh, along with many other people in Charlottesville, for about 12 years. When we first formed a group called the People's Alliance for Clean Energy. And we've been working on this issue. Of course, now it becomes, uh, it's becoming more of a reality that Dominion is serious about building another reactor at North Anna. And there are a lot of good reasons uh, for us to be opposed to it. My perhaps main reason is that I live within 30 miles of the reactors. And uh, we now know that it's on a fault line, which makes it uh, particularly uh, a risky uh, project for the future. I have two grandchildren who live in Charlottesville, and I'm worried about what's going to happen to them in 30, 40 years, and uh, particularly as these reactors get older. And, of course, they keep extending their life, you know, re-licensing them for longer periods of time. It's going to be a problem. Another issue, I think, is the, the amount of money that will be invested in this uh, new reactor. It's going to be somewhere between 10 20 billion dollars. That's a lot of money, which could be used for a much cleaner energy future. Putting our money into offshore wind, into solar power, into energy efficiency, uh, this makes a whole lot more sense. 
And that's what we should be investing our money in. I mean, for that amount, think of about all of the houses that could be renovated to make them more energy efficient for that amount of money. How we could be helping lower income people to, to reduce their utility bills. Governor also, as citizens take action, we need to talk to our legislators and we need to be voting for people and working for candidates who, who want to rein in the power of dominion. So thanks again for everybody for being here. We appreciate it. Yes, thanks everybody for coming. Um, today's four-year ongoing nuclear disaster in Japan. We, we are here. Our hearts are with the Japanese people today. Uh, for all the suffering that continues and all the thousands and tens of thousands of people that are still displaced. Um, we do not need to build a third reactor at North Anna. It's not just on a fault line, it's multiple fault lines. Uh, United States Geological Survey uh, just recently came out and said they've discovered uh, yet another fault. It's called the Quail Fault Zone. Uh, nuclear energy, uh, what we have learned from Fukushima and Chernobyl is it's dangerous, it's dirty, um, and we don't even have the technologies or the methodologies available. They'll have to be developed to even deal with the ongoing Fukushima disaster. We're out here today to say we're in solidarity with the Japanese people and the people around the world that are rallying. And we're also here to say and tell Dominion no to third unit at North Anna. Uh, and actually, no, number one and number two, they need to start the process in thinking to decommission it. All the waste that we create, we'll be stuck with because there is nowhere to store it and actually there's nowhere to safely store this kind of waste anywhere for thousands and thousands of years. So we need to stop making the waste and we need to move forward with renewable energy and we need to start doing it now. Please contact your representatives. Contact the governor and contact Dominion and tell them no to a third reactor. Hey. Hey. Got the drones ready? That's the right group. Yeah. All right. Okay, we're going to sound the alarm. The alarm for nuclear power and the alarm on climate change. Okay, right, one, two, three. Woo! Uh, stay touched uh, with us uh, through email and through Facebook, and we'll let you know when other things are happening. There'll probably be some possible hearings coming up from the NRC sometime. We think that the license could be processed in the next two to three years. We're not quite clear on that because there's uh, issues, they don't but tell us. I know they don't tell us. We we're asking, right? So, but we think uh, they could get a permit in the next two years on this. Um, also, um, don't forget, Pax is organizing to go to the um, Stockholm.